Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing really well. It is currently the beginning of August. I can't believe that I'm actually saying that already. I feel like this year has gone by so fast, but it's been such an amazing year. So many cool and exciting things have happened this year. Today, I thought I would sit down and film my July favorites. These are going to be some products that I really enjoyed last month. Also, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I did get my hair lightened a little bit more. I wanted to do it now for the summer. I thought it would be perfect timing, but I just generally love to have a good balayage, like a good blonde but brown kind of thing going on in with my hair. I did film a little bit on my Snapchat and on my Instagram stories, so maybe some of you guys caught that, but let me know if you would want me to do an updated hair care routine, and I could kind of share a little bit more information on the color and stuff, so let me know if you guys would like to see that. Okay, so let's get started with the favorites. So this first item I want to mention to you was actually released a few months ago, and when I first got it, I did really enjoy it, but I was kind of using it on and off, but over the last few weeks, I have been reaching for this so, so often. The palette I'm talking about is the Becca Times Chrissy Teigen Face Palette. And that is what it looks like on the inside. So you have a bronzer, a blush, and two highlighters. To be honest, I have heard mixed reviews on this palette. There's some people who I watch on YouTube who love this, and then there are others who hate it. But for me and my skin, like my skin tone, my skin type, this works amazingly. I'm going to do some swatches so you guys can see up close what they look like. And the blush especially is really pretty. It's this beautiful like pop of pink. It might look a bit intimidating in the pen, but once you blend it out, it just looks gorgeous and very like fresh. And the two highlighters are actually quite different. This is the one that I use the most, and I like this because it has more of a golden undertone, but then this one on top is more of a pink undertone, so it's pretty as well, and they're actually nice to layer, but I generally go for this one right here. I also like to take this one and put it on my shoulders to give a little bit of a glow there as well. And of course, as usual, on the high points of my face, so on my cheekbones, down my nose, a little bit underneath my brow bone. And then it also, of course, comes with the bronzer, which is a matte bronzer. Something that people were complaining about with this palette was that the highlighters were not strong enough or not pigmented enough. But I personally don't like a blinding highlight, like something that looks too artificial. I want my skin to look like skin. And when I apply a highlighter, I want it to look a little bit wet, dewy. I don't want it to look glittery or, you know, like it's obviously highlighter. I want it to be more natural and more lifelike. And I think that this formula really does give you that beautiful natural sheen on your cheeks. But with that said, you can definitely layer this up if you do want a more intense look. And also what I like to do, which you guys may know, is I use a lot of face products on my actual eye. So don't think just because it's a bronzer, you can only use it on you know your cheeks. I use this color all the time in my crease and I also put it underneath my eye with a smaller blending brush. It gives a really beautiful, diffused, soft look to the eyes. I also use the blush as an eyeshadow. I also put it in my crease. And then the highlighters, I will sometimes mix them and put them in the inner corner of my eyes. Next, I want to share my favorite lip combo of the last few weeks. It has been, without a doubt, these two together. I love a good nude lip, but it has to be long wearing and comfortable. I will first line my lips with the Makeup Forever lip liner in 1C. This is an oldie, but a goodie. It is an amazing, amazing lip liner. The texture is so beautiful. But the real new product that I discovered a few weeks ago is from MAC. It is the Hug Me Lipstick, and it looks like this. What I really like about this one is the texture. It has a little bit more of a glossy finish, but it's nothing too overpowering. It just makes the lips look healthy and juicy and 
like soft looking. It is pigmented, but it's not so pigmented where you need to apply it like very carefully. And if you don't apply it evenly, it'll look weird. It's just one of those lipsticks that you can pull out in the middle of the day, smack it on your lips and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about being too perfect with this. But on the other hand, it does leave such a beautiful nourishing color on your lips. And then this lip liner is great. It's super long lasting. It is a waterproof pencil, so it's not going to move around too much. You can eat, you can drink. I do like a lip liner as well for just defining the lips. You can make them look a little bit more plump. If you wanna have like a good nude pairing, then definitely check these out. Next up, I have a face primer that I've really been enjoying. I've been so into this, and it is from Too Faced. It is their Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer with coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients, and skin revivers. I just put a little bit there on my hand, and it's not it's not a very mattifying primer, but as you can see, or maybe can see, it's super, super lightweight, and it smells like coconuts and really fresh and I like that now when it's been quite hot it really does plump up the skin it makes it look a little bit more fresh and vibrant even though it's quite a nourishing primer it doesn't leave any like shiny residue or oily residue at all it just works so well with my skin it is also silicone free which again makes it have a more lightweight feel on the skin which is great now in the summertime on the topic of skin this foundation that i've been wearing the last few weeks it's not a new foundation to you guys i have spoken about this before i will kind of use foundation like on rotation i'll switch between a few but over the last few weeks, I have just been using this. It's from Estee Lauder. It is the Double Wear Light. So it's a lighter formula than the original Double Wear, which you guys know that I love. But I think that this is just as amazing, especially now for summer, because it is a little bit more lightweight on the skin. And the finish is slightly more luminous than the original Double Wear. And this foundation really does look like skin. And just as with the original, one this is super long lasting which is again really great now for the summertime when it's hotter and makeup just tends to move more this has been amazing and not just the actual foundation but i love the package of this it's really slim and lightweight and it comes in a super convenient tube so it's really great to travel with next i have a little skincare item it is from the brand called the ordinary there has been so much hype and talk about this new brand and basically they have some really really great kind of more high quality products but at very very affordable prices it is the advanced two percent retinoid retinoid and retinol are a form of vitamin a and they can be very very beneficial for the skin it's used in a lot of anti-aging products it helps with fine lines, pigmentation, um, scarring as well. And I was super intrigued just about the brand as a whole. So I decided to get it and I have been loving it. I have been using a retinoid for the last couple of years. I love the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. That one also has a retinoid in it. So I thought I would give this one a shot and see if it's good as well because this one is obviously so much more affordable than the Sunday Riley, even though I love the Sunday Riley. I've gone through several bottles of that Luna night oil, but it's nice to also find something that's a little bit more affordable. And a retinoid is a chemical exfoliant, so it will remove the top layer of your skin chemically, not um, physically, like abrasively. They also have the 1% retinol, which is actually stronger than the 2% retinoid. Retinol is a little bit of a stronger version than retinoid, so just keep that in mind if you want to try this out. If you're new to retinoids, I would go for the 2% first, and then you can gradually work your way up to the 1% retinol. So just keep that in mind. One last like facial skin product that I want to mention is from NYX. These are the green tea blooding papers. This is a great little thing to keep with you, especially in the summertime. You open it up like that, and then inside here you have these little sheets. I'm sure you guys have seen these before, but it's really good for just blotting away any excess oil 
that might have built up during the day. I like to mainly take it in my T-zone and get all the places that I tend to get a little bit shiny. And maybe you can see kind of the oil that's been absorbed. It's nice to do this before you go in with a blotting powder. If you are touching up with a powder and your skin is already a little bit moist, or oily, it can just end up looking very cakey. So I would highly recommend to blot your face a little bit before you touch up. And sometimes when I do this, I don't even have to touch up with a powder. It just absorbs the oil. It kind of like refreshes the makeup a little bit. I would highly, highly recommend these. There's lots of different brands that make them, but um, NYX is quite affordable. So it's a, it's a good option and they work really well. I love a good body lotion that feels really nice on my skin and not greasy, not too heavy. And that smells good because it kind of doubles up as a bit of a fragrance, especially in the summertime when we do get a bit warmer I feel like everything smells more but smells like in a good way it's great to take advantage of that with a nice smelling lotion this is a new one that I recently discovered from L'Occitane L'Occitane it is their beautifying body milk and this you guys smells so so good it has more of like a warm floral but very fresh scent it smells really nice very summery very appropriate for this season and the texture of this is very lightweight it's like a body milk so it just soaks right up into the skin but what i really really love about it is that it has a slight sheen to it i am wearing it on my arms today and i'm not sure if you guys can see but it has a little bit of a glow to it but it's not a glittery glow it just is like a golden kind of sheen like a golden luminous sheen to it I've really been into this you guys should check it out if you want to have like a nice lightweight summery body lotion that smells really really good speaking of fragrance I want to mention this one from D squared this is called the want perfume this is a fragrance I've been wearing a lot lately this was the kind of fragrance that I smelt it one time and I was like okay I'm buying it it was like a a love at first smell it has a really nice warm vanilla woody rosy floral kind of like ginger pepper <laughs> I know it sounds so crazy. I love to wear this in the summer because it really has that warm, yummy feeling. I wouldn't say that this is the most fresh, like cooling fragrance in the world, but I just love it now when it's a little bit hotter. You've been wearing this for a few hours and then you just get like whiffs of this delicious, like vanilla, wood, floral combination. It's absolutely gorgeous and speaking of perfumes i got a new perfume tray from zara home they just have the best home stuff and like little accessories and i have bought quite a few things from zara home i also have bedding from them and some towels and stuff but i love the idea of having a perfume tray i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like but i love having everything organized and displayed on this perfume tray and i think it's actually just like a regular tray for food and you know like dining but I I use it for my fragrances and I think it just looks so cute. I also have a little mini version of that in my bathroom for some uh, hair and skincare products and I also have another one here in my makeup room where I keep some primers and moisturizers and stuff. I think it's such a cute idea to display some of your products on a little tray like that and especially the fact that it's mirrored and like silver it just makes it look really elegant. Moving on to the last favorite which is probably the big biggest favorite of last month is my new bag. For those of you who don't know, I was born in July, so it was my birthday a few weeks ago. I have been wanting to get a new handbag for the longest time, so I thought what better time to get myself a new bag than the month of my birthday. So I decided to go back to Chanel, which is one of my favorite brands ever, especially when it comes to handbags. And I got myself this gorgeous flat bag in this beautiful color. It's like a deep red and it has silver hardware. I'm so in love with this bag. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But most of the bags that I own are in neutral color, so either in black or white. And I wanted something that was a little bit different, but still super classic and chic and timeless. I saw that they had this color and it's a new color, I believe, for the fall winter time. It was love at first sight. I saw it and I was like, yes, this is the bag that I want. And especially now for summer, 
summer i think it's so pretty and then of course you could also wear it you know fall winter spring so you can either wear this bag like this across your shoulder or what i have been doing lately is just putting it like that so making the strap a little bit longer and then hanging it over my shoulder like so and i love how the pop of color just brightens up an outfit it's really fun to have something a little bit different but still very classic and chic for me chanel really does make like the most beautiful handbags and to buy a chanel you know it's a it's a very special thing and i don't buy handbags all the time i don't really buy like trend pieces i like to get really classic items that i can have for a long time because handbags can be very very expensive so i want to make sure that i'm getting a handbag that i know i'll get a lot of wear out of and when i do buy a handbag it really does like encapsulate a certain moment in my life i know when i look at this bag i will remember this summer i'll remember my birthday and just I think this whole year. Those are all the things that I wanted to show you guys in this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. I'm actually getting ready to leave for New York in a couple of days. I'm so excited to go back. I actually used to live in New York for about five years. I will be going there mainly for work. I'm doing a really exciting collaboration with Cosmopolitan and Neutrogena. I'm thinking about starting another weekly vlog, so I'm pretty sure that I'll capture my New York trip as well. But you can always follow me for like daily updates and stuff on my social media. I am on Snapchat and Instagram. Both of those are at Annie Jaffrey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. As always, if you have any products that you would recommend that I try or that you've really been loving, let me know below in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. I hope that you're all having a really nice day and I will talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.